Iran's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard has put its missiles and drones on public display amid ongoing tensions with Israel. Some of the ballistic missiles showcased are capable of reaching Israel and U.S. bases in the region. The exhibition includes Iranian-made drones and radars as well. Iran is a close ally of Hamas and Hezbollah. ما انتظار داریم که بعد صادق سه یک اتفاقی را رقم بزنه و شاهدش باشیم که بر این تعجب های صادق یک و دو ما بی افزاید بگونه که دشمن دیگه حواسش جمع کنه بگه حریف این ایرانی ها اینا نمیشه من خودم احساس خنوب کردم از اینکه تونستیم اینقدر قدرت دفاعی رو ببریم بالا که تو مخیلیه این تجربوزگرا اون فکر پیش نیواد که بتونن به حمله کنن به اینجا اگر پاسخ طرف داده نشود طرف جری تر خواهد شد پس ما از مسئولی میخوایم که به قدرت و همچنین با توکل بر خدا به سخت ترین شکل و محکم ترین شکل پاسخ به کسانی که به خاک ایران تعرض کردن من جمله اسرائیل قاسه با انجام بدن و از این موضوع موضع خودشون به هیچ عنوان کوتاه نگه A top Iranian official pledged his country's unwavering support for Lebanon after talks Friday with Lebanese leaders on the ongoing war between Israel and Hezbollah, which came as the United States continued actively pushing both sides to agree to a new ceasefire deal. Ali Larijani, an advisor to Iran's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, said he hoped circumstances would soon improve in Lebanon so that displaced people could return home. The main aim of our visit is to loudly say that we will stand by Lebanon's government and people, Larijani told reporters after separate meetings with Parliament Speaker Nabi Barry and caretaker Prime Minister Najib Mikadi. The U.S. has been trying to broker an end to the fighting between Israel and Hezbollah, which came as the 13-month war with Hamas broadened in September into southern and eastern Lebanon as well as Beirut's southern suburbs. Both Hezbollah and Hamas are backed by Iran and Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel the day after Hamas' surprise attack into Israel on October 7, 2023 ignited the war in Gaza. According to reports in Lebanese media, U.S. Ambassador Lisa Johnson has handed over a draft of a proposed deal to end the Israel-Hezbollah war to Parliament Speaker Navy Barry, who has been leading the talks representing Hezbollah. A Lebanese official confirmed Friday that Johnson visited Barry but refused to say whether a draft was handed over. Another Lebanese official confirmed that Beirut has received a copy of a draft proposal that the U.S. sees as suitable to end the Israel-Hezbollah war based on UN Security Council Resolution 1701 that ended the war in summer 2006 between Israel and Hezbollah.
The official did not give details other than to say Israel was insisting that some guarantees be included. Both spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to speak to the media about the ongoing talks. The U.S. Embassy refused to either confirm or deny the reports. Larajani flew in Friday from neighboring Syria where he held similar talks a day earlier with President Bashar Assad. Syria's state news agency said Assad and Larajani discussed the ongoing aggression on Palestine and Lebanon and the necessity of stopping it. In addition to supporting Hamas, Iran is a main backer of Hezbollah and for decades has been funding and arming the Lebanese militant group. Hundreds of Iraqis took to the streets of Baghdad after Friday prayers to protest against Israel and its Western allies over the war in the Middle East. Protesters, many of whom were followers of influential Shia leader Muqtada al-Sadr, burned flags of the US, the UK and Israel during the demonstration. They also waved Palestinian and Lebanese flags and chanted anti-Israel slogans. We have decided to speak against the Zionist and American crimes of killing children, women, and elderly people, said Hakim al-Zamli, a member of Iraqi parliament. اليوم كانت هناك تظاهرة في موقع صلاة الجمعة في مدينة الصدر هذه الصلاة هي أكبر صلاة في العراق ولذلك قلنا كلمتنا ضد الجرائم الصهيونية والجرائم الأمريكية بقتل الأطفال وقتل النساء وقتل الشيوخ وتخريب البنى التحتية وحرق الأشجار وتدمير ما يمكن تدميره لذلك كانت كلمتنا واضحة بأمر من سماحة القائد مقتدى الصدر أعزه <تصفيق> باسمه تعالى يدعوكم مشروع وهناك قتل يجري وهناك صمت عربي واسلامي ودولي ضد هذه الجرائم التي تقتل الاطفال والنساء والشيوخ الله اكبر الله اكبر